is life a tragedy yeah, or it's a comedy? Probably all the time it's both. Uh, the first of all, I have to say, um, I really love this piece at all. Yeah? It's, in the first few, such a simple story, but when you get deeper and deeper into the story, then you recognize that Chekhov is really a master to tell a lot of about our lives. Yeah? Even when it's a 100-year-old uh, play nearly, yeah? Um, it's still getting contemporary because of his characters. Yeah? You can find yourself in every character, you will understand every character, and sometimes you're wondering what he's telling about because the story is so simple. In The Cherry Orchard, uh, you can tell it in four lines what the story is about. Yeah? We have four acts, yeah? and then the first act it's not from me, Jean-Liu Barrault, a very famous um, um, actor and pantomime from France, told it also, I think, for 70 years ago. Yeah? The first act is, the cherry orchard will be sold. Um, second act, the cherry orchard is getting to sold. Third act, the cherry orchard is sold. Uh, the fourth act, the cherry orchard has been sold. That's all, but the rest is the life. And this is a wonderful description from Jean-Louis Barrault about this piece. I simply want to try here um, in Stockholm with these wonderful actors to tell this story. And then I think for every spectator in the audience it will be a different story, yeah? Because everybody has a different view on his own life. What is the sense about? What does it make the, the sense? What is the feeling of time is just going by? Yeah? And all these questions are in this piece and that's quite wonderful to work with. Yeah? I saw a lot of boring performances on stage uh, by Chekhov. Yeah? But I'm quite, uh, um, uh, have the conscious about the first target, I say it even at the first rehearsal. This is the greatest risk that we, that it, we are fine, we are doing good, but it can get boring, so we have to be careful. Every ac actor knows about it, and I try, sometimes it has to do something with a party tour of Chekhov. It's kind of music, what he's written. There's a rhythm in it, and we have to follow this rhythm um, um, precisely and find our own rhythm to tell our story. And sometimes we also have in some situations to find the key to overact a little bit um, and then um, you find something else between the lines and that's probably the best thing that it's not getting boring. This is a great risk by doing Chekhov all the time. And the other thing is you need really very good actors, very, very good actors to perform a Chekhov play that it's not boring and that it was a wish to do it here in Stockholm at Dramaten because I know this ensemble quite well and I love to work here and I have these um, 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 actors um, in this ensemble. So hopefully it will not get boring at all. I hope so. <laughs> um, and I love to work in Stockholm and um, if you're doing a Chekhov, you have to feel as a director comfortable, in a way, in a, in a theater place. Yeah? And that's how I feel here. And the next thing with this ensemble is not just only that you have these wonderful actors, also you have the possibility as a director to have here in the ensemble three, maybe also four generations you can work with. And this is not normal at all. I just know in Europe probably three theaters where it's possible. First of all, it's Dramaten, then Comédie Française in Paris, and then probably the Burgtheater in Vienna. And everybody, for example, is talking about diversity in theater, and it's very important. But don't forget the old uh, uh, people. It has also something to do with the diversity. Yeah? And in these theaters, we can find them. And this was for me very important, yeah? that not a young 
guy is playing, for example, Firs, yeah? the oldest one. Yeah? And here I have the possibility to have these generations, and it's wonderful. Now uh, we have three weeks before the premiere, and there is a lot of work still to do. And I hope that we find something with the actors, with the story, with Chekhov, with the stage design that tells about life that, which is really touching in a way. Because when we take a look at this piece, um, and this is wonderful, I don't know, is it a comedy, is it a tragedy? Chekhov is a master to hold this balance for a long, long, long time. And this is probably where I start with the rest is life. Even I don't know, is life a tragedy yeah, or it's a comedy? Probably all the time it's both. And to get this kind of atmosphere on the stage, this would be great. Yeah? And I'm looking forward and hopefully we can manage it. Yeah? <laughs>